welcome to Team Wild's Air Power. Now you guys know that the Team Wild boys have been big fans of the Daystate rafters from day one. We've used them all over the world. Ian's used a Daystate Wolverine to hunt skunks and raccoons in the States. Ian's also used the Daystate Wolverine to hunt wild boar in Hungary. Now the power and the sheer knockdown capabilities of that big boar rifle proved itself in that one shot. Wildy and myself have also used the awesome Daystate Huntsman Classic to shoot hundreds of rats and pigeons and this has always been number one choice for our pest control duties. So when Tony Bellas from Daystate told me that he'd made some improvements to the Daystate and Huntsman Classic, my question was how do you improve on perfect? His answer was, well he didn't so much as answer, as more he just kind of handed me this. The Daystate Huntsman Regal. The Regal has a lightweight longer air tube assembly which apart from being lighter is also designed to be easily serviceable and comply with forthcoming testing requirements. The Harper Micro Valve, which was added back in 2008, upped efficiency by 40%. This has now been upgraded to a lighter titanium unit, which improves efficiency even further. So, the question on everybody's lips now is, how does it shoot? Let's go find out. <laughs> 35 yards. Right, I'm gonna put a few shots through the Regal now. I'm going to use a few different brands of ammunition because just lately I've found that some of the rifles I've been shooting, whether they be four ball rifles or air rifles, uh, have been really uh, fussy when it comes to uh, ammunition. So these, um, these three are from the Daystate factory, but they're different brands. There's the Field Target, the Range Masters, which I'll use in my 177 and have been fantastic, and the brand spanking new Sovereigns. So um, we'll, we'll do five shots with each of these. Now also, because the Regal's got that bit of extra shot capacity, it's going to be popular with the FAC, uh, FAC boys, so I'm thinking we'll put a couple of heavier bullets through. We've got the Bisley, Bisley Magnums, everyone knows the Bisley Magnums, and we've got the, also the Crossman Premiers, so we'll put five shots of each of them through and just see how they group, see if the, the, the barrels like them. A lot of people think that I just sit in the office and do nothing all day. Sometimes I come out in the beautiful sunshine, sit on the range and play air rifles. It's a hard life, but someone's got to do it. The first up, a five of the range Master Li and some 2 2. I don't very often shoot 2 2, so make a nice change. The overall length of the Daystate Huntsman Regal is 36 and a half inches. It has a barrel length of 17 inches. The air cylinder capacity is 132cc or 162 for the XL version. Have a look. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Everything's pretty much touching. One little bit of a flyer there, but um, the group's fairly consistent there. That's five rounds in there, uh, 35 yards. So I'm really happy with that. We know the allies fire nicely through the Regal. Let's go try some more. Okay, next up, we have the little Day State FTs. Now, I've never used these before. They're a bit heavier, they're 15.9 grains, so. Um, I'm expecting them to have a different zero, obviously, to, to what I've just shot there. I'm hoping they should group just as consistently. Unscoped, it weighs nearly six pounds. It's available in 177 and 22 at the moment. It has a 10-shot rotary magazine, removable from left to right, and loading is via a bolt. Now, I thought they'd have quite a, a bit of a different zero to them, with them being a bit heavier. I thought they'd drop a good bit lower. But they haven't, they've, they've shot by the look of it, just to the right of the last group, and they look to have just gone pretty much, pretty much one on top of the other. We're gonna have a look. Well, I'm really happy with that. It's grouped perfectly in there. It's just more or less punched out a five, um, five shot group, all on top of each other, just punched a big hole in there. I expected it to drop low, but it hasn't. It surprised me that has. Um, but as you can see, the Regal really likes the, um, the FT pellets from Daystate, really does like them. Let's go try the Sovereigns. Next up, we have the Daystate Sovereign pellets. Now these are brand new out, these pellets. They've just come out this last month. 
Uh, they're a heavier pellet than the, uh, the Li, so I've been assured they're very good. Let's have a go, let's see how they do. It also has a magnetic single shot loading tray option. The fill pressure is 230 bar. The trigger is mechanical, adjustable for weight and length of stage. They felt pretty good. And it looks like they've grouped pretty well as well, so I'd say they've grouped extremely well. Let's go and have a look. Well, I'm very impressed with that. Again, everything's touched, it just seems to have just gone one on top of the other. That's with the sovereigns. Um, yeah, I really am impressed with them. They seem to have done the job. I might be converted to a sovereign man from now on. Let's go try some of the um, heavier pallets now. Okay, so now we're getting in for some heavier pallets. Um, these are quite popular with the, with the FAC lads, the Bisley Magnums. I used to use them myself on my old air arms, uh, FAC. Um, 21 and a half uh, grains. A good pallet, a good all-rounder. And we'll just see if the Regal likes them. Safety is a manual rotary system and the stock is a beautiful walnut sporter stock. Well, that's a bit of a surprise. I didn't expect them to group quite as well as they did. Um, obviously, I was still keeping my same, uh, same aim on the rounds of group there. Four pretty much almost touching, one just out to the, to the right there. Um, but considering they're you know, a very heavy pallet, um, that's not too bad at all. Like I said, I was quite surprised with that. Um, yeah, I think they're going to be fantastic with the FAC um, Regal. He definitely likes them, it definitely groups with them. Let's go see how we get on with the Crossmans. And last up are the um, Crossman Premier pallets. Now these are billed as an, as an ultra magnum hunting pallet. Uh, they're not as heavy as the, um, as the Bisley Magnums. I believe they're a very hard hitting round. I don't know much about these to be honest. I found them in, in uh, Ian Arford's uh, air rifle cupboard. I'll be honest with you, I found all of these in Ian Arthur's gun cupboard. He'll go mental when he finds out I've been shooting his uh, pellets. Never mind, we'll, um, we'll crack on and put five of these through. Shots per charge on the Day State Huntsman Regal are as follows. The 2-2 will give you 95 shots at 12 foot pound and 30 shots at 40 foot pound in FAC. They've shot really well. Um, they've grouped dead centre and the target. Pretty much all touching. Now what it's kind of, uh, kind of showing today is that the uh, Regal isn't pallet fussy at all. It's taken everything that I've thrown at it today, all the different brands, and it's grouped with them all. Very impressed. So I think that goes to show that the Day State Huntsman Regal is a good performer with a wide range of pellets. The gun feels good to shoot, it's accurate, it cycles well, it's a keeper. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for all the best hunting shows on YouTube.